Then at 8 o'clock, there's the return of another new series as we join Mike Reed and his guests for Pop Quiz. Is not only a new day, but a new time as well. Uh, tonight, our two team captains, Paul Jones and Boomtown Rat Bob Geldof, firstly to Bob's team, and they are from the Small Faces and the Humble Pie, and now Pop Quiz, Steve Marriott. Evening all. He's been getting it together in the country. Uh, right, and from Frankie goes to Hollywood, <laughs> Holly Johnson. And uh, Skip, who's been getting it together in the town, Bob Geldof. Hello. Out of posing them, and glad to be guesting here tonight, Tom, Ricky, don't lose that number, Robinson. <laughs> and from Starlight Express, P.P. Arnold. <laughs> And let's give up Paul Jones. <laughs> right, individual round first. I'm going to play each of you a song by three different artists. So I want you to tell me who the artists are. And it's all the same song. Holly, you're first. Here comes your song. Three versions of my guy. Good oh, idea who they were. The first one is Mary Wells. Right. Uh, the second one. Tough, eh? Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure about the second one. What about the third? Uh, the third one. Was it Natalie Cole? Mmm, no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to tell you. Sister Sledge, the second one. Uh, Aretha Franklin was the third one. Yeah. Wow. That's what I love. A great reaction. But sadly, only one point. No points for reactions. Uh, so one there, three covers of Gloria for you, Bob. Mm. I tell you about now, baby. You know, she comes around. Just about five feet four. I'm from her head to the ground. Around here, just about midnight. You make me feel. Right, 
expression of spelling bee, that was Gloria, G-L-O-R-I-A. Do you know the three versions? Yeah, well, the first was them. Mm -hmm. um, the second, I don't know, might be the doors. No. What are you guessing? I'd doors. say it's the doors. Mm -hmm. And the third one? Patty Smith. Yeah, you have all three. Absolutely oh. right. <laughs> right, Paul Jones, skipper of your squad, here's yours. Run away. Three versions of Runaway. Well, the first the, one looked the, easy. The first two are easy. That's Del Shannon. Mm -hmm. And the second one is Bonnie Raitt. Very good. Um, can I have a half a point for saying that Norton Buffalo played harmonica on that record? Norton oh. Buffalo? Well, anyway, it's true. So, uh, there only was a uh, half a point for that because I don't know who the last one was. It was, it was, it was either Mrs. So Miller or... Um, or the sensational Alex or, Harvey band. Or the Alex Harvey band, <coughs> yeah. yes. Tragically, only no. two out of three. There was, another, <laughs> there was another, another brilliant version by the Huddersfield Transit Authority, which we didn't play. So, two out of three. Steve, over to you. Three versions of six, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. That's my number. If you need a little loving, call on me. Oh, yeah. If you want some kisses, call on me, baby. Oh, yeah. Right, this individual run, they're conferring like mad over here. Any ideas, Steve? Uh, well, one was Wilson Pickett, obviously. Uh, Which one was obviously the Wilson Pickett? Uh, was, um, the third one. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was, it was. Um, Percy Sledge, I thought, was the first one. I'm not sure. It's a good guess. It wasn't actually Percy himself, but it's a good guess. Sister Sledge. No Mr. Sledge. <laughs> Mr. Sledge. Uncle uh, Sledge. I'm going to have to tell you. It weren't Gino Washington, was it? You're right. <laughs> it wasn't right, Gino Washington. It <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't Wilson Pickett either. Uh, it was Eddie Floyd, Uncle number one. Two was Ry Cooder, And three was Otis Redding. I heard Holly... <laughs> Holly was trying to mouth that it's running out. Well, I can't help it. <laughs> Finally. No points there. Finally in this round, Tom, three versions of the night they drove old Dixie down. Virgil Kane is a name and I served on the Danville train. Till Stormer's cavalry came and tore up the tracks again. In the winter of 65, we were hungry, just barely alive. I took the train to Richmond that fell. It was a time I remember oh so well. The night they drove old Dixie down, and all the bells were ringing the night. Three points if you can tell me the versions of the night they drove old Dixie down. And the band was the first one. Joan Baez. Was the second one. Kenny Rogers. No, good guess. His daughter's been on pop because it was Johnny Cash. Ah, yeah. oh, the others knew it, but of Look course, being pad. fair play, people, they didn't tell you. So two out of three there at the end of round one. Five points to Paul Jones team. Six points to Bob Geldof's team. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, this is the point where you have to listen. Round two is a new team round. We filmed a pop legend, or at least as near to a legend as we can get. Two points for identifying the star, two points for identifying the star, and two points for identifying the music underneath, which is not necessarily related to the star himself, which is being played backwards. Here comes your mystery, legendary pop person. That's where we stop it, at a tube station across the road. Which team skipper is going to press Paul? The, the, the we uh, knew song ticket is Ticket to Ride. And who do you think the singer was? Well, it was the Beatles, it was John Lennon. No, who do you think the... Uh, oh, the well, I think that, who I think that person was. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not the, understanding the your banter. I have idea. And have you got any idea for two points who the artist was? Who, who no the, idea, the but we knew the song. She's got a ticket to ride, and she don't care. There we are, it was Noddy Holder from Slade, and was it, it really? was <laughs> Ticket to Ride. So, two points for Paul Jones, nothing for Bob, sorry about that. Right. But it was a bit of fun, and thanks very much to Nod for doing that. <laughs> Individual round next, but first of all, the scores for round two up until then. Bob Geldof's team six, Paul Jones' team seven. <laughs> Individual round coming up, no conferring. Tom, you're first to go. Have a look at this clip of Thomas Dolby on a good night. See, that's what happens you drink, knock your head falls off. Uh, Thomas Dorm has recorded two LPs for one point. Can you name one of them? Uh, the Golden Age of Wireless. Golden Age of Wireless, yes, or the Flat Earth. One point. For another point, can you name one of the three singles taken from his last LP? Uh, scare Myself. Yes, I Scare Myself, or Dissidence, or Hyperactive. Well done. You have your points. Two points. <laughs> Steve, for you some rare film of a man who's just stepped out of the bath. Here's Wilson Pickett. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till the star come out See that tweaker in your eye I'm gonna wait till the midnight out That's when my love begins to shine Neat fate there. Uh, Wilson Pickett in the Midnight Hour, which was one of five top 30 UK hits he had. Can you name three others for two points? Oh, yeah. He had, um, um, da 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 What That's was that? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Land of a Thousand Dances. Land of a Thousand Dances. Well sung. Uh, got any ideas? <laughs> no. Not at all. No. Oh, did, uh, okay. yes I do. Yes good. I do. Mustang Sally. Mustang oh. Sally was one. Uh, yes, two out of three. One more to go. Um, Mustang Sally was followed by... Don't fight it. Don't fight it, that's oh, it. Yeah. Right, three out of four, right, Steve, so you get your full two points. The other one was a uh, cover of the Beatles, Hey Jude, so full marks there. Paul, you're next, some John Lennon for you from the mid-70s. Sipping in the sliding, deepening the hiding, been told a long time ago. Very stuff there. For one point, which LP did that track come from? 
Rock and roll. Rock and roll it did. For another point, can you name two of the three singles from the album Double Fantasy? Be beautiful Sean. That wasn't oh, a single. We right album. It wasn't a single. But it wasn't a single. Oh, you'll be so cross when I, I tell will you. be cross. I'll be furious. Shall I tell you? The three tracks were starting Woman? over. Oh, too late, I'm sorry. Oh, no, come on. Too late. You can call too that late. well interrupted. No, no. no. Starting over, watching the wheels, and the one that was on the tip of your tongue, Woman. which was woman. Yes. Oh, All right, Bob, for you, a performance <laughs> by David Bowie from 19... That burst into tears there. Apparently the band will pay £50 for that whole session. Uh, the same year as Queen Vich, 73, he recorded an LP, which comprised reworkings of oldies from 64 to 67. Bob, do you know the name of it? Um... The same year. Was it um, Pinups? It was Pinups, yes, mm -hmm. for one point. For the other point, can you name two of the four top ten hits that Bowie had in that year? Uh, something, there's a stone. Life on Mars. Yes. Um, um, I love the way you're singing Starman and suddenly you say Life on Mars. Yeah, well, we're still <laughs> <there>. <laughs> space. Right. And sorrow. And Sorrow, yes, two right. The Laughing yeah. Noma Drive in Saturday, the others. Full marks for you, two points, well done. P.P. Arnold for you, a clip of a very flexible prince singing Little Red Corvette. Had two other major hits in this country. Can you name them for one point? Uh, 1999. Is one of them. And uh, most recent? Yes. Uh, God, When Doves Cry. When Doves Cry, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Roberts' dove impression was <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> can, you name, can you name Prince's current backing band? Uh, the Revolution. Revolution, that's right. Two points. <laughs> Now, Bob, if you're so I want to do impressions of the B-52s. Uh, for you, Holly, here are the B-52s. Holly, the B-52s were discovered by a really well-known band. Do you know who the group was that discovered them? The group they also supported on the US tour. Well, I know David Byrne produced an album, so maybe it's Talking Heads. It is Talking Heads, okay. absolutely. For one point. For the other one, can you name their only UK Top 40 hit? Well, it's got to be Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster. So, two points for you. Well done. At the end of round three, both teams streaking ahead. Bob Geldos, team 12. Paul Jones, team 12. Oh, <laughs> round four is the one where you get your pens out. Round four is for both teams. You put together ten songs on the theme of radio. You, you don't need to list the songs, just the artists. Okay, here we go. Nine, right. Paul, how many do you think you have? Five. Team. Five. You think you have five? With Dana. Do you want to go with your five first? Okay. Uh, uh, Dono, Dono, Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, Sly and the Family Stone. Okay, keep going. Tell you after. Buggles. Who was that who did W-O-L-D? We don't know. Who was that who did the song between the last one and the uh, one We don't know who that was. <laughs> Steely Dan. And there's a Dunno and Donna Summer. Okay, tell you how many you have in a moment, Bob. Pauline Black. Uh, could you be more specific? 
selector. Mrs. Right. Black. <laughs> <laughs> the Clash, Queen, Edwin Starr, Buggles, Joni Mitchell, Harry Chapin, Ray Stephen, Donna Summer. Right. Okay, I will tell you, you have nine. Paul Steam has four. Selector on my radio, Clash, Radio Clash, Queen Radio, Gaga, Edwin Starr's Happy Radio, uh, Buggles, Video Kill the Radio Star, You Turn Me On, Joni Mitchell, WOLD, Harry Chapin, Steely Dan's FM, Donna Summers on the radio, and Ray Stevens, Turn Your Radio On. So, at the end of round four, Paul Jones' team 16, Bob Geldof's team 21. <laughs> This one will get them all going. If you haven't watched the programme on a Saturday night before, this is the famous lyric round where they all cringe like mad as I read the lyrics with style and put the punctuation in the wrong places. Steve, I'm going to start with you. Can you recognise this song from these lyrics which should be appearing in front of you? He was born for good luck, and that you'll see I've got $700. <laughs> Muddy Waters. Um... So don't you mess with me. Close. Uh, Hoochie Coochie Man, ain't it? It is Hoochie Coochie Man. Well done. <laughs> Almost before I got it out, Muddy Waters, Hoochie Coochie Man. Tom, you're next. Where do these two lines come from? Work it on out, you know. You look so good, you know. You've got me going now, just like you knew you would. From Twist and Shout. Oh, Twist and by Shout. By the Beatles. Beatles right. Beatles. Two points. Very pedantic. <laughs> I thought I'd read that badly enough to fool you. Bob, two lines for you. I'm never going to dance again, guilty George people. Michael. Oh. Careless Whisper. <laughs> two. Easy. You haven't read it. Two points. Paul, your turn. Where do these lines come from? You're getting too hot at this game. One empty place at a table for two, our agent in Rome, a cafe rendezvous. <laughs> haven't the faintest idea. Don't let's waste any time. Let's get on to the next. Matt Bianco and this one. Uh -oh. One empty place at a table for two. <laughs> <laughs> Whose side are you on? Ly Holly, a lyric for you. Wear a tall hat like a druid in the old days. Wear a tall hat and a tattooed gown. Dead easy. That's Mark Boland and Ryder White Swan. T Rex, Ryder White Swan, two points. PP, <laughs> your last. No one else can make me feel the colours that you bring. Stay with me while we grow old and we will live each day in springtime. Uh, Mini Rippinen. Too easy. Ah. <laughs> and? The song? Yeah. Loving You. Loving You, two points. <laughs> Point. If P.P. Arnold can give us her rendition of Loving You. Yes. Oh, the chorus. <laughs> Loving you Where? has made my life so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And everything that you do. I nearly took one off for overdoing it, but one extra point for that. <laughs> right, at the end of uh, round five, Paul Jones, team 21, Bob Geldof's team 27. <laughs> Another team round coming up, you can confer. A clip coming up of three artists, and they're all from the same year. We'd like to know the three songs and the year, please. Paul, your team first. <laughs> See no reason you're living on your nerve when someone drops a cup and I submerge. The darling, the smiles are turning to the faces. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here.
Okay, Paul, the three songs? Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> it was Peter Frampton, and what he was uh, singing... Oh, are we got to say what the song was called? Yeah. Yes. Oh, good heavens, what was that called? <laughs> 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 no, it wasn't. No, that's, the, called, that's Beethoven's fifth. Ha, 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 ha. No, it What was it? Thank you. <laughs> we can confirm. No, it's... Well, sir, and we don't know what it was called. Oh, good. What about the second one? <laughs> the second one was Steve Harley. What was that called? Oh, yes, Here Comes the Sun. That was difficult to know. The third one was Rod, Tonight's the Night, wasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And the year? Well, we, we, we kept falling out over it. In fact, we're never going to speak to each other again, but I reckon it was 75. You're wrong, 76. Oh. And I would give you... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Three out of five. Okay, Bob. Same for you, Bob. Three numbers, three artists, and one year. We were grooving it. We were moving it. Pussy footing it and putting it round. We were bopping it. We were hopping it. Really jumping to the shangle leg sound of the music. Three songs, please. Well, I couldn't ha hear the first one because the audience were laughing so much. <laughs> but, uh, it was the Bay City Rollers, I suppose it was called Rocking to the Music. And the second one? Um, the Stones, it's only rock and roll. roll. Third was Wizard. Um, I'd say See My Baby Drive, but I don't think it was. And what about the year? Um, again, I guess, 73. Wrong year, 74. Right. It was Shang Lang, the Bay City Rollers. It's only rock and roll, while I argue. And rock and roll winter, so I can only give you one, I'm afraid. That's a one. Uh, mm. At the end of round six, Paul Jones, team 24, Bob Geldos, team 28. Whoa! Fingers on the buzzers for the final round of quickfire. Stevie Wonders, I Just Called to Say I Love You, his first single for 18 months. Can you name the last one? Paul. It must have been lately. No, it wasn't. It was Frontline. With which record did he jointly get to number one? Polly. Ebony, Ebony and Ivory. Two points. Yes. What was the Rolling Stones first hit on their own label? Oh. Polly. It wasn't Angie, was it? It wasn't. 1.7 here. Yeah. Steve. Jumping Jack Flash. Brown Sugar. Oh. Who oh. sang about a brown girl in the ring? Oh. Polly. Boney M. Boney M, yes. Which group? The group M had only one top ten hit. What was it, Holly? Pop music. Pop music, well done. Another two it's points. How many good. singles have been taken from Thriller? Michael Jackson had, Holly. Five. One, somebody else? Uh, yes, Paul. Six. Six, right. Well done. <laughs> one point to you. The final question, who is the drummer with Culture Club? Holly. John Moss. John Moss, who is coincidentally on next week. That brings us to the end. Paul Jones, team 25. Oh, Bob Geldof's team of one oh. with 36. <laughs> We would, we would like to thank tonight's teams, first of all, the losers, although not in spirit. Tom, Ricky don't lose that number, Robinson. <laughs> P.P. Arnold, who supported her team ably here. I think she was certainly the prettiest of the side. And let's give her Paul Jones. And they've been thrashed by the might of our Gelgos team, and they are fresh from the country. Steve Marriott. Hello, <laughs> Frankie goes to Hollywood. Holly Johnson. <laughs> yes, he's won the Man of the Match award. And their skipper, Bob Gelder. <laughs> That's it. Next Tuesday, the teams of John Moss and Culture Club. Steve Harley and Tracy against George Michael from Wham. <laughs> Chris Rear and Kurt Smith from Tears for Fears. Finally, one question for P.P. Arnold, no points. What were you doing in 1964?
<laughs> Sorry? I was singing with the I Kids. You were singing with the I Kids. We're going to sing it, aren't we? From the American TV show Shindig, watch out for the whoa, middle I Kids. I can see Turner singing with the I Kids. more successful.